Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Satisfactory. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. If not, I hope I can brighten your day a little bit. Today's episode, we are planning on finishing phase two of the space elevator parts. We have a lot of parts to work with here. However, we're going to get that done today in today's episode. I hope you guys are excited for that. If you are, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get that to 100 subscribers. But as you can see up at the top right here, we have 500 smart platings that we need. We need 500 versatile framework and we need 100 automated wiring. We are going to get that done in today's episode, and it is going to be a blast. Probably just going to make them elsewhere and then just drag them over because I can't be bothered to create them all in the same place. So let's get to it, guys. Here we go. All right, we are back over here at our original base, the OG. If you guys haven't seen that, please be sure to check out these other videos. It goes through the whole process of creating these. And these are kind of our, our, our premature, kind of the beginning stages of all of our iron factories. Uh, and they, 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 they look pretty good. They're bun making a bunch of screws. They're making some iron plates. They're making reinforced iron plates. They're making modular frames, uh, as well as some rotors. So that's what we're gonna dig. That's where we're gonna start off in today's video. We are are going to start making the smart plating and that takes rotors alongside reinforced iron plates so we're gonna get that started we have our rotors up on top there we have our reinforced iron plates down below we're gonna just join them together somewhere and we're gonna be start making massive amounts of smart plating so let's get to it. all right as I said we have a ton of rotors right here now we're not really making that many completely we are currently making oh this isn't even working correctly I don't know what I did I think we missed the 60 belt with some of our rods that's besides the point we have plenty of rotors we're just gonna make the smart plating for now we'll come back and fix this later however uh, we were making like four point eight times five so what is that four point eight times five is twenty four don't quote my math twenty four right on the nose okay so we're making twenty four kind of that's if we had a full sixty belt of iron rods which we don't I'll have to fix that but that means that if we look at our production for an assembler if we are making twenty four and we look at the smart plating we could technically make twelve of these now that's if we have enough reinforced iron plates but I don't think we do so we'll check that one next uh, but we have like I don't even know how many you saw in there I mean there was there was a crap load yeah we got like uh, what do we got eighty nine hundred of these suckers wow that was a perfectly round number for some reason that was kind of coincidental okay well um yeah i still think we could probably make 12 the, the faster we make them the better uh because that makes two, two per minute which is not great and honestly i think what we might do is i'm probably just gonna clock you just the goal of today's episode is to get to phase three. We are in desperate need of phase three because we need refineries. I'm, my big plans are for a massive upgrade to an iron factory where we're gonna use refineries with water and the iron ore because you make a lean amount more of iron when you make that recipe. So we're gonna go that route. But in order to do that, we need phase three and that is what today's episode is for. So I'm gonna get this kind of going. We're just gonna get a crap ton here of assemblers all making smart plating. And I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Real simple, guys. It literally only took me like five minutes. We threw four assemblers in here. So we're currently making 20. We took the 500 that we need and divide that by 20. 25 minutes. Really not that bad. So all we gotta wait is 25 minutes and we will have a total of 500 smart plating. Uh, now, that is assuming that, you know, we're, we're making uh, 5, 10, 15, 15, 15, 20, 20 per minute, which we technically are, not really with the broken iron rods, but again, we'll deal with that later. That's for post Meyer Gaming to fix, <laughs> not right now, but as you can see, we have plenty of our reinforced iron plates coming up this way. These are actually our leftovers that we have. Uh, we're using the reinforced iron plates to make our modular frames. We're using three per, per minute on there. That's one, two, three, four, five, that's 15. And we are producing five, 10, 15, 20. We're producing 40. So that does leave us actually with 20, Five, which works so actually this is a f sufficient method uh, we could leave this going and it would never end uh, if if we fix our iron rods if the big if however we're not gonna run out of these these are gonna fill up here and then it'll kind of be stagnant we won't really notice anything however we only have to wait a couple minutes here and we will get all 500 of those going 
So, the next step is now our versatile framework. We take a look at that. You can see here, it takes modular frames. Modular frames are here. It also takes the steel, and the steel is at our other plant. That's the problem. So, do we take the steel beams here, or do we take the modular frames out of there? Hmm. The big questions. Well, I think it'd be easier to take the modular frames over there, to be honest. Or might, I don't know how we're going to do that. It's a long ways away. The other option is to, we're not making steel over here, that's for sure. But we could technically make modular frames over there if we just made a little tiny iron factory. Because honestly, it's just reinforced iron plates and iron rods. We might end up doing that. So let's take a look into that. All right, I've made up my mind. We're going to go make some re uh, some modular frames over at our other factory. So let's go take a look over there and see where we're going to place that. Here we are in our new iron node, iron ingot factory, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, the hub is right over there. I can't zoom in, but that is where the hub is. You can see the space elevator. Kind of over here by our truck factory. As you can see, here it is right here. Uh, there's a little, kind of a neat little entrance here. Once we get trains, uh, this will be definitely beneficial because we'll, we'll be able to, you know, drive a train right into here. Not a problem. Maybe this will be the base level here is gonna be our train station. So we'll go up a level. This will be kind of our belting as well. So we'll see how that goes. However, this is where we're going to be producing all of our iron ingots because we're going to need a crap ton of iron ingots to make all of our iron plates, all of our iron rods, to make our iron screws, just the screws, and then we're going to use the screws and the plates to make the reinforced iron plates. We're going to make the reinforced iron plates with the rods to make the modular frames. And then we're going to pass our modular frames right on over to there to create our versatile framework. So there are actually, I believe, six iron nodes right down here if i can take a look for a second here yes i believe there are approximately maybe it's just three they are somewhere right over here though found them earlier i promise yeah here they are here they are. so you got one two three four five. Oh yeah 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 no yeah no you got four here and you got two over here that's a total of six iron nodes okay that's already two more than we had in the entire other factory which is saying something because we are producing quite a bit in that other one this one we're gonna be producing out the wazoo. I am gonna get these all hooked up. I'm gonna get them all drug over to our beautiful new factory over there. And it actually makes a pretty nice line, if I say so. So we might just, you know, bring a nice little belt path, whatever you wanna call it, right over to there. And we'll get these all hooked up and I will be right the back. And we're back, guys. As you can see, we have a beautiful little, I don't know what you'd call it, a highway of belts, perhaps, maybe, I don't know. So you have the, uh, the four right there and you got the two more over there we'll take a look at those in a little bit once they're actually powered up and running however we have built a somewhat uh just a little bit higher up on the platform here just a second level this is where we're going to do all of our smelting uh, i just thought i'd kind of go through the numbers here with you guys so what we have at this point we're going to use refineries here eventually but we have to get to phase three first in the space elevator part so what we're going to do is as you can see it takes 30 and makes 30 each line of 270 can have a total of nine per line and so if we have nine per line we have six lines that's 54 smelters i think i'm going to array it the same way as we did it before however we are going to use a brand new method here using smart splitters to do proper overflow which is actually going to be kind of cool so instead of the prop you know the usual manifold where you know you got every other we're actually going to use smart splitter technology to do the overflow properly so what that means is we're going to actually have the smart splitters in a row it will always do the first one and fill that up right away and then whenever that one finishes then it will overflow to the next one like a proper overflow method would go. Let's get that. Let's get let's get that going. So what I need to do first is actually make six rows, nine smelters each row. So let's do that first. All right, there we got it. We got it going here. Uh, as you can see, we got smelters as far as the eye can see. Uh, we have six lines of nine each here. We're gonna be throwing 270 at it and getting 270 right back out. So we're gonna have six lines of 270. Uh, we're gonna making crap ton of iron plate, iron rods. That's gonna be the initial scope of it. And then we're gonna be making all these screws, all these reinforced iron plates in the second level. 
I think the first factory that we did over on the other side of the map was a good teaser of what we're gonna do in this one. Uh, it's gonna be somewhat similar. I think what we're gonna do is make sure that we actually have full levels so that we can expand easier and not run out of space. So we're gonna get that done. I'm gonna get all of these belts set up and it's gonna look fantastic. Be prepared for that. I'll be right back. Several days later. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> As you can tell, it has become a massive project. It's complete. It's finally complete. We're doing automated wiring and we are producing the versatile framework. But holy cow, that has been a chore to get this working. I don't know if you can tell just how immensely massive this factory is, but it is huge. <laughs> uh, just to get like a, a scale comparison, we're, we're just standing over here on the other side of this lake because we had to get some coal in order to fill up our trucks in order to get them moving and so we had to come over here grab a coal mine uh, bring that all the way down here we got a big old belt all the way underneath to fill up the bottom level which is only where our trucks are and just to show you how immensely <laughs> massive this is let's take a closer look all right here we stand in the front entrance um, and as you can tell when we walk closer to it it is just massive <laughs> There, there are a total of one, two, three, four, five floors. Uh, this one factory takes up a whopping 3,500 kilowatts, megawatts of power, which uh, we might run out of power. It depends on if it actually runs the entire time. But this is a beauty of a factory. Uh, this thing does. 162 reinforced iron plates per minute, which is amazing. And then on the on the end of it, we're producing 135 modular frames per minute. That is astounding. Here is floor number one. Actually, hold on. Let's take a look at where all of the ingots are coming from. And as you can tell, it is a beauty. I, this, this whole bridge over here is freaking amazing. I don't know about you guys, but just the way I, I built the pillars, it just adds so much detail. When you're sitting here looking at it from the side, oh, oh, that is just so, so good looking. You know, it gives it extra dimension on all of the pillars. Then it goes up a little bit, bringing power along the wall. Oh, it's just beautiful. We have, uh, we're gonna have six lines of iron, and then one line of copper because we have a bit of a different way of producing our reinforced iron plates. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, but as you can see, it all gets pulled in from these beautiful miners here, placed throughout. You can tell that's the copper one because it's orange. That is again all plugged up and in. We got some nice decorations going on and around here. Uh, I think it adds a lot of detail, a lot of character, and it looks pretty good. Moving back down the line here, and they do this beautiful split into this white wall where they all get converted to the ingots. What we do, I mean, it's just a straight one-to-one. -one. This was supposed to be refineries, but we have not made it there yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to replace all of this, but that would be a chore and a half in itself. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Anyway, uh, what we're doing, we're producing a, a whopping 1,500 ingots per minute which is amazing. So pretty much they go in and then they flip around and come back out the wall right here. And then each, so there's two that go up there, two go up here, and two go up here. Uh, these first three all end up going to this floor and the second three end up going into this kind of belt positioning floor, I guess, because <laughs> there are a ton of constructors in here building iron rods. Currently we have three lines of the iron plates, which is pretty good. I mean, pretty good. I mean, it's producing two full 270 lines of iron plates, which what we're doing is we're doing a little belt balancing right here. Kind of threw together a little thing here. It spits out two lines. You bring in three lines. Works pretty well. Again, that comes out this way. Comes out the front of the building. Adds a little character there, and that comes back up into this level. And this level is getting more insane as you look at it. So don't don't look at it too long. Uh, this whole level is producing all of our reinforced iron plates. <laughs> There's a lot in here. Uh, this section over here is not that. So really, the reinforced iron plates is one line, two line, three line, four lines, 36 total assemblers producing all of our reinforced iron plates. Now again, we're using the reinforced iron plates, we're using iron plates and wire, 
which is a little different. Um, I think that recipe works out pretty well. So anyway, we're taking the four lines of wire right here, also being produced in the second floor next to our iron rods and our iron plates, oh, which is <laughs> quite, quite amazing. Um, so we're using the terium ingots and copper ingots to make our wire because that produces a ton more. Out of this, these, this one row here, I guess, of assemblers, we have eight total lines of 270 for wire, which is quite amazing. So we're taking the four here, throwing that into each line of nine gets one row of wire. It works well. Um, like I said, we're producing 162 iron uh, reinforced iron plates per minute, which is what it comes out to. And they all go out this way and up. We'll come back to this in a bit. Again, like I said, this section here is actually producing cable. We're taking the other four lines of 270s and we're producing two full lines of cable of 270 to go into our automated wiring, uh, which we have the stators somewhere else. We'll get to that in a second. Anyway, the reinforced iron plates then come up to the top floor and join up with this monstrosity uh, to produce are 135 modular frames per minute. It is pretty good. Uh, reinforced iron plates and iron rods, that's what we're using all of our iron rods for, uh, which we are producing quite a bit of iron rods as well. Uh, so what happens with the iron rods is they all come up this way into this belt up the, to the top floor, and then they all get belt balanced to go to their individual lines. Now, as you can see from up above, there are really three arteries, I guess, three main lines. You got the one line there, you got the one line there, and you got the one line there. And then everything is supplied by one line of 162 reinforced iron plates. And like I said, that comes out to the 132 of modular frames. And then what happens there is it takes those modular frames, does a split, we're only using so many into the versatile framework, which is fine but those use steel beams. So with that being said, the stators that I had mentioned earlier are actually pulling the beams, no, the steel pipes, which are coming across the ceiling, <laughs> and all of our caterium quick wire, which is also coming across the ceiling, and that then comes on this wall, goes into this. Now, this is going to be producing somewhere in the lines of 72 stators a minute, which is pretty good. Um, it's not, not bad. It's actually pretty respectable. Anyway, that then comes down this line. It comes to the wall over here and leaves out the wall here to go up to this level to join with our cables. And then they go into here and we are producing a total of, I think it was 10 to 25 plus two extras to 27 automated wiring per minute. And we only need 100. So once this gets going, uh, we will produce enough automated wiring that we need in roughly four minutes, which is pretty spectacular if you ask me. Um, and then the versatile framework, uh, we needed 500 of those. And this whole setup here, I believe, does yeah, 5 times 6, which is 30. So we'll get that relatively soon, too, because that's going to be producing 30 per minute. And so, now, the moment of truth. We are going to turn it on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this? I am definitely not ready for this, so let's do it. All right, I already see movement over here, so these are, these are already starting. So those will start producing staters. Uh, what we really need to look at is make sure our ingots are all being generated. All right, and I'm seeing I'm seeing ingots over there. I'm seeing ingots over here with a gap. That's not a good sign. Yeah, we definitely do not want gaps in our system because that is not a good idea. All right, it's getting to the top, so let's take a look at smelters and make sure they are all going well. And actually, this is a nice setup for, I don't know if I, I didn't really show this earlier, but but all of these are smart splitters and the center is overflow and the left, well in this case left is anything. So it's going to fill up the first one completely first and then move on to the second one. And as I speak, there it is, and I would be wrong. All right, had a little bit of a hiccup there. <laughs> the overflow wasn't quite working. I don't know about the splitters. They weren't connected to any of the belts. So I don't know what happened there. Uh, but everything is flowing now. We are slowly making it further and further down the lines of ingots. So that is good. Eventually those will all be producing the full 270s. Uh, just gonna have to wait on that. 
All right, we're seeing some act activity here. This isn't. This is exciting. We're gonna make our first automated wiring, and that comes down to the end here. Goes out the wall and up to the ceiling, up to the roof, and into this bin. So if we ever have any, we will be in this bin. The other thing are the versatile frameworks, which they will be coming from here. Get this Christmas present out of the way. Okay, as you can tell, we have all of our steel beams. Those are being delivered from our factory over yonder that way. Um, so that's uh, currently at like 180, and these are using 30. Look at that, the first two modular frames. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Oh, there was one in there, and there's one there. Look at that. We have done it. I might say so myself, this is actually a quite a large modular frame factory for only having modular, or er, only having Mark III belts. I think that's, that's pretty impressive, to be honest. I have, like, this entire thing is being done by six iron nodes, one copper node, uh, two caterium nodes over there, one caterium node over there, and uh, all the steel. Not bad. We should be seeing our first... There it was. Catch up to it. Okay. Look at that. Beauty. Beauty. Alright, did we get any automated wiring yet? We have two. Look at that. We have six of these. We are well on our way. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. It's the moment of truth. As you can see here, we are looking at a barrel full of smart plating. And we have... Uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, almost four, five short of 4,000 smart plating, uh, which is fantastic. I might actually just shove all of these into a heat, into a resource sink if we don't need them anymore. I honestly don't think that they're used for anything, so we'll probably just dump them uh, after we do this. However, we only need 500, and voila, we have 500 just like that. All right, it is time to get the rest of everything, and we are going to finish the space elevator parts for level two. All right, as we glance back on the beauty of what is the modular frame factory uh, we can now check out all of the parts that we have been making for the automated wiring as well as the versatile framework so let's check out just how many we've made so far all right we have made 430 of the automated wire we only needed 100 of them. And so we're just gonna split that and grab 100 of them because that is all we need now for the versatile framework we have 876 pretty darn good if you ask me now we need 500 of those so we have that by a decent margin already and so we should be all set to go and we are going to dump these in the space elevator and get to level three all right we are sitting at the bottom of the space elevator, ready to do this let's get it going as you can see our beautiful staircase right behind us here majestic staircase staring us in the face as we dump all of our resources into the space Elevator, load and seal and send. Oh, that's satisfying. Okay. All right, let's make our way back up to our beautiful hub sitting right up there. And uh, let's figure out what, just exactly what we got. So let's go take a look. All right, back in the hub, um, you can see actually in the top right over here, we do need 2,500 more versatile framework, so we're going to get that in probably an hour's worth of gameplay because we're making, I thought, like 30 per minute. And so if that would be 30 per minute, that's 3,000. That's only 100 minutes. Eh, so it's actually about an hour, maybe an hour and 10 minutes worth of gameplay. Pretty good. So we'll get that pretty easily. Um, the other parts, those will be a struggle, but uh, yeah, at least we don't have to make the automated wiring anymore. Anyway, let's look at our hub and get what we are really wanting to get, what we really need, and that is trains. <laughs> oh, but we need heavy modular frame. I think honestly though, what we need to probably get first are refineries. That's kind of a given. Uh, but we're going to start with this one. We could get the rest of the stuff in the tier 4, such as the hypertubes or the, the blueprints um, and then some of these other mods. I'm not too concerned about that. I think really the oil processing and the industrial manufacturing to get manufacturers probably a good thing. So actually this is what we need to even get 
modular engine and the adaptive control unit. Uh, probably because we need the manufacturer to build those. So we need plastic and rubber. We do not have a single plant or a single place that is in mind for any of that. Now the the other thing that we're probably going to want is fuel generators because we're going to need we're going to need some better fuel. As you can tell here, our consumption is only 5,000, um, but our max consumption is 7,300. Now, we don't have a lot of our factories on right now because most of them are stopped because they're full. However, uh, that's that's almost a thousand megawatts over what we can actually do. So we're going to have to remedy that pretty soon here. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. But anyway, I think we're going to have to make some plastics and rubber factories because that's kind of the next step that seems to be required is that we're going to have to make plastic and rubber but anyway i think that's going to do it we have we have successfully gotten two tiers five and six finally um like i said the biggest thing that i'm going to want to look forward to is the trains because we need trains because trucks suck in the next episode we're going to have to work on our oil refinery as well as plastics and rubber we do have an oil well kind of right next to us here by our main factory so that could work out for us but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed today's episode smash that like button smash that subscribe button let's get that channel to 100 subscribers i'm excited for that hope you guys are too but anyway guys we'll see you in the next episode peace <laughs>